just wanted to share on this Monday some good news. We finally set a closing date for our house. It's going to be May the 18th. And so come May the 18th, I will no longer be a resident of McAllister. Unfortunately, I'm not sure we're going to be a resident anywhere. <laughs> we don't really have a place to move into yet down at Winsboro, but hopefully that will come soon. As for the interim time, we're going to be with my mom. She lives south of Dallas-Fort Worth. It's about a two and a half hour drive, about the same that uh, McAllister is from Winsboro, where we live now. So, but it is good news. It's good progress, and hopefully everything will go smoothly, and we will be able to find a new home as we sell this one. But I wanted to show you a couple of things about the home we're leaving. For one, to know how awesome of a wife I have, and that she has put up with this bathroom. You will notice the beautiful orange sink coupled with the red and black vanity underneath it and the turquoise toilet and tub with a frosted swan glass, sliding glass doors. And it's a corner to corner tub. And yes, um, we have had the, this is our master bathroom. You should see the other one. <laughs> At any rate, this house is a little bit outdated. You can tell by that. Well, the tile on the floor doesn't quite match the tile on the wall, which really goes well with the paneling. Um, but it is an interesting bathroom. It is one of a kind, and I'm sure it was a huge selling point for this house. People just would adore a bathroom like this. But actually, the thing we're going to miss about this house is the attic fan. Uh, this attic fan works. We use it all the time. Open up our windows, let the fresh air come in. It cools us down. Sometimes it gets a little bit too cool and I would wake up shivering and have to wake up and turn it off and close the windows and we forget about it or don't pay attention to the weather. But it is, well, a breath of fresh air. And as I was thinking about what I would miss and the fact that I don't know if the house we're going to find has an attic fan as well or uh, if we're going to continue to have something like that. But we become pretty content in our modern building styles and uh, houses that we have now for air conditioning. And we have air conditioning too, and it's nice. But the thing about air conditioning is it recycles the same air again and again. It filters it, and it cools it down, obviously, or warms it up. But when it cools it down, it takes the humidity out of, humidity out of it, and that, in many ways, um, makes it feel better, makes us more comfortable. And that's what air conditioning is all about. But I think there's something to be said for fresh air. And spiritually, there's something to be said for the fresh air, for the gust of wind of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit and wind are synonymous in the New Testament. Um, they're often used to, as an example for each other. And it's actually the exact same word in the original language. But the Holy Spirit is something that's supposed to be fresh. And sometimes I think in our churches and maybe in our lives, we get used to just recycling it again and again and again and maybe come close to quenching the Holy Spirit like Scripture warns us against because we emphasize comfort. We emphasize stability. And that's, what not, and that's not what the Holy Spirit's about. The Holy Spirit is about change, about changing us, about blowing over us and transforming us and using us in unusual or unprecedented, unexpected ways. And are we opening up the windows and saying, come Holy Spirit, do your work? Are we keeping it all nice and tight, shut up, sitting in our comfortable chairs and wanting the temperature and the air quality to maintain a perfect unswerving 72 degrees, whatever it might be at your house? Or are we willing for the Holy Spirit to maybe use some ups and downs, give us some ups and downs to blow over us and to bring a freshness that can't be manufactured? And so I don't know how much sense that might make to you. I, it's what impressed upon me thinking about my attic fan of, how many houses just want the same recycled air again and again and again until it becomes perfect, but perfect according to our standards. Remember, there's no substituting the fresh air and all the smell of the rain and just the things that God would have it do in our life, spiritually, through his Holy Spirit that meant to fill us up, give us a deep breath of freshness, and newness 
because if we just rely on what is the same and what is old, that's not the Holy Spirit's work. So anyway, we're looking forward to being there. I don't know if we're gonna have an Addict fan or not. I would love one. But at any rate, go down to the porch, take a deep breath of fresh air and think about and pray for the Holy Spirit to fill you up with what he desires for your life, not just the comforts that we want. So have a good evening, and I look forward for us being in person.